hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to learn how we can create this select option in our react approaching using laravel as a back end so you guys can scroll infinitely until we reach the data so as you guys can see fetch the new data when the scroll reach in the end and also you can also type in here for example if i type in here brazil it will load the only the brazil or if i type here afghanistan it will load the afghanistan so let's see how we can build this in our react and laravel project so let's go to our vs code and first of all let's create our laravel part the, our back end then we will create our front end so let's go to our back end laravel project in here i already created my migration in here as you guys can see I have code name and order number for my country's table to save the time I already created this. Now let's go and create the controller for our this table. So let's go to app HTTP controller and countries controller in here. In here let's create a new function. So let's type public function and let's give him a name of gay then or request dollar sign request then inside this method i will create a, va a new variable with the name of options and set it to my countries then i will type where name is equal to like and i will say percentage sign so i want to search based on name like then after that dot dollar sign request q and also at the end let's type one more percentage sign then because we want to have a scrollable search so when the user scrolls it should fetch new data every time it reach the end of the option so for that i am going to use pagination so i will type paginate paginate and for the initial items i will say 10 then let's type star inside our array and let's send our page number also so in here let's type page and dorsal request page now let's return this so let's type return response as a json then inside here let's send our options let's say here dorsal options and items so the reason that i'm using items in here because uh, page nation i do like this it will give me a lot of option with the page number totals links everything so i only want the, my data to fetch only my data in here i will type items then after that let's type has more and in here let's type option has more pages okay so this is it for our controller part now let's go and create a route for this so let's go to our api so let's scroll down routes api.php and in here let's create a new route so let's type route so in here i will use a route group for controllers and also i want to give it a prefix so that's why i I will type route prefix so let's be the prefix should be countries and let's add a controller also so let's type countries controller colon colon class then let's group all of them and inside here let's create a callback function then inside here I will type my route so let's type route colon colon gate and let's say gate so our server site is finished now let's close all of these tabs from here let's close this one also this one also now let's open our react project and and let's go to inside our source page in here let's create a new component with the name of react select so let's dot jsx now let's create our function components by typing rfc let's change this to dynamic select so let's say dynamic select first let's create our views so let's delete everything from here let's create a 
new div with the class name of card and inside here i will create a new div with the class name of header card header and in here let's create an h2 tag and say select oh search for a country then after that let's create our card body so let's type here dot form control to create a new div with a class name of form control now let's save everything let's go to our browser now as you guys can see my component is ready and my text is displaying in here so everything in here is set now we have to install two packages so one is react select copy this and install this then another one is axios so we also have to use axios as well so copy and run this commands to install i already installed them in my project so i'm not going to install them again so let's go and import both of them so let's type in here import select from react dash select and also we need to import the axios so in here i will type add import axios from axios now let's go and add our select in here so let's type select and it says let's close it it's a self-closing tag then in here let's say is clearable then after that let's add a one more prop as a placeholder so let's type placeholder and set it to search and select an option let's save everything let's go back to our project now as you guys can see my select option is ready but there is no data so let's go and fetch our data and append it to our select option so let's go back to our vs code now let's go and create a new variable with the name of options so let's type here options and set options and set it to empty string by default so let's type use use state and it should be empty string by default and don't forget to import it in the top as well then to fetch our data let's create a new function in here with the name of fetch data so let's type fetch cons fetch data is equal to async sync and this will be in here let's create a try and catch block so let's type try catch now inside our try we will create a new cons for our axios so let's type cons response is equal to await axios dot gate and our api url so in here i will type http colon url which is 127.0.0.1 and port 8000 then api slash country slash gate then after that let's add it to our options so let's say set options is equal to or response dot data dot options and in the catch also let's type console dot error error fetching data and let's print out our error so let's type error now to look uh, to run this function when the component render we have to use use effects so let's also here let's call use effect and inside our use effect let's type our function name so let's type here page data let's close this also now let's set our options to our select in here so let's type in here options is equal to options dot map and option then in here let's append all of our options in here so let's create an object so let's type like this label is equal to option 
डॉट नेम एंड वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू ऑप्शन डॉट आई डी लेट सेव एवरीथिंग सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन अपन आवर ऑप्शन इन साइड आवर रियक्ट सिलेक्ट सो लेट सेव एवरीथिंग नाउ लेट्स गो बैक टू आवर ब्राउजर लेट्स रिफ्रेश ऑप्शन डॉट मैप इज नॉट एप फंक्शन ओके we forgot in a state of uh, empty string let's add it empty array in here and also in our use effect we forgot to add attach it with an empty array because it will load many times if we don't do it so now everything is set now let's go back and let's refresh now as you guys can see i got my data now let's go and add an animation also a loading also in here so when and data is loading and it should show a loading animation in here so let's go back to our vs code let's create a new variable with the name of loading so let's type here loading and set loading then set it to false by default so let's type here use state and by default it should be false then when our fetch data function is called so let's in here set it to true so let's type set loading is equal to true then after that in the final it, let's create the final in here so finally set loading is equal to false now let's call this uh, our set loading inside our select Select option also. So let's scroll in here and in here let's create a new param with the name of is loading and set it to loading. Now let's go back. Let's refresh. Now focus in here. You will see a loading animation. So let's refresh. Now as as you guys see, I got my animation when that data loads now let's go and add our search functionality so that our user can search in here also for example like this and select the search result so let's go back to our vs code and let's scroll up in here let's create one variable let's now name it input value and set input value by default let's set it to empty string so it would be empty string let's add it inside our fetch parameter also so let's add in here input value so when the user change it should we should send it to the fetch data and we can use it so now let's send this input as a params in our axios also so let's type in here params and this will be object then we will say q is equal to input value now let's go and create an handler for this also so when it changed we should set it to the new value so let's scroll down and before our use effect in here let's create a new function so let's type const handle input change is equal to new value and this will set our input value so let's type set input value to new value and also refetch our data so to refetch our data we will just call our function so this function fetch data let's add it here and send new value as a parameter in here so let's type new value now let's go and call this add these two inside our select params so in here let's type input value is equal to input value and also let's uh, change add our handler also so we will type in on input change is equal to handle input change okay this is it now let's go to our browser let's refresh now let's type here brazil now as you guys can see i got my result and also let's type here for example afghanistan i got my result now in here the only thing that is pending that we, 
we only get our first 10 items when i scroll down i don't get the rest of my data so as you guys can see now i scroll down nothing scroll down nothing i only get the 10 items so let's uh, create our scroll functionality also so whenever our scroll reach at the end of the item so it should fetch up the new data so let's go to our vs code in here let's scroll up and create two new variables in here let's create the first one so let's type cons page and set page then let's set it to one by default so let's type use a state and one then another variable to check if we have more data so let's type cons has more and set has more and by default let's set this one to true so let's say use the state true then let's add one more parameter inside our fetch data for our page so in here let's type page then send our page with our params so let's uh, type here page is equal to page now let's change our set options also in here we are just adding our current options that we are getting from server which are then it is set in here so we are change, sending now the page also so we will get the second third fourth page also let's add them also inside our options so let's change this let's remove it from here and in here let's type set options is equal and set it to previous options then let's check if the page is one so let's page is equal to one then in that case response response dot data dot options else let's keep the old options so let's previous options and add the new options that we get from the response so response dot data dot options okay this one is set let's uh, bring this down to make it clear and this one also down okay now it's easy to read now let's set our has more variable also so let's type here set has more to response dot data dot has more now let's scroll down and inside our handle input change in here let's set the page also to one so let's type here set page is equal to a one and send the one inside our fetch data also then after this we have to create our load more option in uh, function so let's type const load more options is equal to a function and first of all let's check if it's loading and has more is true so let's type if not loading and has more in that case set page to previous page so let's type pre page and inside this we will type const next page is equal to pre page plus one to increment it by one then after that we will fetch our data so let's type fetch data and in here let's send our input value and our page number then let's return next page now let's scroll down inside our use effect in here let's send our empty string and our page number also for the first time when we get our data and let's uh, append our load more options to our select so let's type in here so let's type on menu scroll bottom is equal to load more options now let's save everything let's go back to our browser let's refresh now let's uh, scroll down now as you guys can see when the scroll bar reached at the bottom it fetched the new data so let's do it again now as you guys can see here 
and focus in here also the loading animation now as you guys can see i got all the countries inside my select options so this is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed the video and like the video if you have any questions write it down in the comment and don't forget to press the subscribe and like button see you guys in the next video